And we now go back to our lead story where the financial position of the Commonwealth Secretariat is again in the spotlight. This amid reports of a developing row between the Secretary General and the Board. Janela Pressings is in Kigali, Rwanda, and now joins us live. Janela. Malaho and good morning, Herman, from the land of a thousand hills. By the way, Malaho means hello in Rwandan. It's the eve of the opening ceremony of the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting, but... It is the race for Commonwealth Secretary General that is generating a lot of buzz on the ground here. Now, the Secretariat was forced into defense mode after UK media reports about its financials. A Secretariat in disarray. Or is this narrative being exaggerated based on interest? Supporters of Baroness Scotland say they find it curious the timing of reports that the Commonwealth Secretariat was keeping secret the details of a financial audit by Ernst & Young two days before the announcement of the new Secretary General. British media suggest the details are damning. The UK Times headline on June 22 read, Baroness Scotland at risk of losing Commonwealth Post in row over funding report. Matt Patterson is a spokesperson for the Secretariat. There are reports suggesting that the Secretariat is hiding audited financial statements because it's very bad. How do you respond to that? It's absolutely untrue. All of our audited financial statements are online and available on our website. The, re the suggestion that there's some kind of financial report out there is a massive mischaracterization. It's frankly not true. What actually this report was about was about future funding models of the Secretariat. It's a very bland report. The terms of reference are about how we might need to restructure the Commonwealth Secretariat's finances, the different instruments that we use. What has happened is that unfortunately that appears to have been mischaracterized in the media. It's very regrettable that people have leaked letters. We pressed further about why the report in question had not been released. The report had some factual and technical difficulties in it. We didn't approve those factual, we didn't agree with those factual errors. So as is normal with a contract, we've gone back to the supplier, EY, and we're managing the contract. We're basically saying this report isn't up to standard. We need it to be up to standard before we can move forward with it. And in due course, the report will be published. That was all he was prepared to say. Moments before that interview, Foreign Affairs Minister Senator Kamina Johnson-Smith held a press conference as she continues her campaign for Commonwealth Secretary General. This was her response when asked about the audit controversy at the Secretariat. I'd rather not speculate. I'd rather not speculate. I haven't seen the report, but I am aware of the uh, concerns raised by the Board of Governors. So I await to hear how that matter will be treated with. Uh, if indeed it will be treated with over the next coming days. As for the timing of the report... We're focused on engaging with heads, um, continuum or positive engagement with them. Mm -hmm. Building a there have long been concerns about the operations of the Secretariat, Mrs. Johnson-Smith campaigning on the promise to bring well-needed reforms. I bring a commitment to good governance, a commitment to transparency and accountability, and a collaborative approach. So, Herman, we continue our attempts to get an interview with the Baroness. In fact, her reps reminded me today of her very busy schedule. Of note, just like Senator Johnson Smith, the Baroness is actually from the Caribbean. She was born in Dominica. Her father is actually Antiguan. However, she was raised in the United Kingdom. So, we will. So, there's lots to talk about, lots to cover, but we have to end it from for now. Herman, it's back to you in studio.